That's one thing. We we'll put effort into it anyway. This is actually the score. <laughs> is this the final? I, I don't have a problem if you lose as long as your foul guy wants to want to let him know you're around. Today, many people know Jerry Sloan as the straight shooting coach of the Jazz. He's led Utah into the NBA's elite. But older fans remember Sloan from his playing days with the Chicago Bulls. And he was one of the league's most ferocious defenders, turning hustle and intensity into an all-star career. Jerry Sloan was probably one of the most tenacious competitors that I've ever seen. He'd get in your, your jock strap and, and ride you all the way down court. The only person that I can say that I know personally that competed as hard as Michael Jordan was Jerry Sloan. Jerry had very limited ability and got 300% out of whatever ability he had. There are few players in the NBA better at drawing that foul than Jerry Sloan. Sloan was such a tenacious worker on the court that his trademark was planning himself on defense and taking the charge. You heard that all your life, stay between your man and the basket. <laughs> as simple as that sounds, that's a pretty difficult thing to do. I think if you ask Jerry West and some of the other players, they'll say one of the guys they hated to play against was Jerry Sloan. Jerry, I don't think I've ever seen a player in the NBA, and, and uh, this is a compliment, believe me, uh, to play with the intensity that, that you do. Uh, it's, it's just amazing that you can go out there night after night, uh, give the same kind of effort, and, and accomplish as much as you do. Well, thank you, Jerry. That, you know, I, I, I'm very fortunate to get to play basketball, I feel. It's uh, been very good to me over the years, and I'm just very grateful for the privilege of getting to play, and believe me, that's what I believe it is, a privilege. Growing up as the youngest of 10 children in tiny McLeansboro, Illinois, Jerry Sloan never expected to play pro basketball. His parents were poor farmers who taught their children the value of hard work. We knew that we weren't going to be handed something unless we worked for it and earned it. That, that's, that's a pretty simple life. It's not, it's not anything complicated. Uh, there's no frills to it, and uh, you're going about your business. Jerry left home for the first time at age 17 to attend Evansville College, a Division II school which he soon turned into a powerhouse. Robert Stadium, Evansville, Indiana. Southern Illinois meets Evansville College for the National Collegiate Basketball Championship. And that's Jerry Sloan with the basket. Sloan led Evansville to two consecutive national championships and caught the eye of professional scouts with his non-stop hustle. After being chosen by the Chicago Bulls in the expansion draft of 1966, Jerry brought the tireless work ethic of the Illinois farmland to the NBA. If you threw 10 balls out the gym floor and opened a door, your 10-man team would run out the floor and grab a ball and try to shoot it. Nobody would say, get a ball, I'm going to guard you. But that's the type of guy Jerry was. Well, you get paid to play. You get paid to work. I mean, that's if you work eight hours or anybody goes to work eight hours, you're expected to work. See Jerry Sloan keep that ball alive. That's great determination and great hustle. Six foot five, six foot six inches, raw bone, just not afraid to get a floor burn, uh, would dive on the floor, would uh, do anything to win a ball game. The game was over. You knew that you had been in the fight if you were against Jerry Sloan. It's always been confusing to me as to what rule in the book tells you that a guard can't set a screen on a big guy. The old saying is, little fellas don't belong in here. Well, they probably don't if they're afraid. But if they're not afraid, they belong anywhere they want to be. Some people might call him dirty. I think he took it to the edge. He would do whatever it took to win by any means necessary. You know what I'm saying? If, he, if it took tugging you, tripping you, pulling you, during his 11-year career, Jerry was a two-time All-Star and a six-time selection to the All-Defensive Team, despite having to play through constant injuries. Even his basketball card mentioned the toll that was taken by Sloan's bruising style. Ankles swollen up, broken noses, fingers, this and that. That's a fun part of seeing who's tough enough uh, uh, to fight through a little bit of uh, adversity. Here's a guy that you can project yourself as. That's you out there taking the charge, flopping all over, running a team, and, and it's been an absolute underdog. He's been cut by three or four teams, and, and uh, he's, he's just a guy you really like to cheer for. Jerry came to symbolize the Bulls of the 70s, a combative team that seemed a perfect fit for the city of broad shoulders. These guys epitomized the city of Chicago with their work ethic, down and dirty, basics, and, and, and with bump and grind, which is extremely well. It's getting pretty rough out there, man. Guys are bumping each other like 
downfield blockers. He was the personification of, of uh, what the Bulls were about. Uh, you look at that bullhead and, and you swear, that's where they might have got the idea for the Bull, seeing this guy. To see the Bulls logo, the thing I think about is the guys I played with. Norm Van Leer, uh, Tom Borwink, Chet Walker, Bob Blood. Those guys were, uh, they were tremendous teammates. After his playing career ended, Sloan turned to coaching with the same passion to excel that had made him a defensive legend. And his Utah Jazz would come to embody the same qualities of hard work and persistence that Jerry had first learned back on the farm in McLeansboro. The things that's happened to me, I always pinch myself to say, hey, how can this happen, you know, in, a, in the situation we grew up in? But we, I thought we worked hard, we tried hard, and uh, if there's any consolation in that, I think we did about the best we could do. Jerry now owns...